You can install BIPS through Enterprise Edition via the Installation Wizard, or you can perform an unattended installation via the command line. When installing silently, the required input passes in a VAR file, which is much more efficient when looking to install on multiple machines. Now, the easiest way to prepare the VAR file is to perform a manual installation on a single machine. This will generate the required VAR file and it will contain the required parameters. You can then reuse this file to perform future unattended installations. Just a note for a single deployment of BIPS with Enterprise Edition, you only need one license per installation and it doesn't matter how many scanning machines you want to deploy or how many scans you wish to run. However, if you want to deploy BIPS with Enterprise Edition into multiple environments, you must purchase a separate license for each one. That includes test, dev or staging environments. Also note that once the unattended installation is complete, you'll then need to create the administration user. And if you want to utilize an external database, you'll also need to manually configure the connectivity to the database. Today, we'll give an example of performing an unattended installation on Windows. As you mentioned, it's best to perform a manual installation first using the same options that you want to utilize for your unattended installation. This will generate the response.var file, which will be located in the install4j subdirectory of your installation directory, the path for which is detailed here. We do include an example var file, but I would recommend generating your own with the latest installer version. Here is the command itself for performing an unattended installation on Windows. So we've got our specific release, which again, we recommend the latest one if possible. Some optional parameters to run the installer in command line mode and unattended mode. And then we need to specify the VAR file itself. If we move to our console, enter the command. The installation will then be performed silently. We'll speed this section up and then we can access the console. Now that our unattended installation is complete, we can navigate to the browser, access localhost, and complete our setup. Note that we can also perform an unattended installation for external scanning machines, and the process is the same. We perform a manual installation of a scanning machine, which will generate the required VAR file and parameters, and we utilize the same process for an unattended installation for that scanning machine. Thank you.